There's another little tool tip, probably a knife. You see there's its base. It's a little flare up there. Looks like there's the back of it. Would have been the blade, the tip. Awesome. Totally awesome. So the shape in this one. It's all kind of work down there. And like it could have been like a little gouge or a hoe or whatever you'd call that. A way for scooping. A way for scooping. Kind of skinny there where it could be hafted and then it kind of comes out to a something that could be maybe even an axe and how's that look i'm in an alleyway of big pieces here is actually coming over to yeah look at all these to look at that one for sure new gigantoid And then I saw this. Mm, that's definitely a little spear tip. It lost a big piece there and a big piece there. But as in that, it's a nice little leaf shape. There's one of the still remaining edges. Look at what they look like when they get all scrubbed yeah. down. Would have had an equal half kind of flowing down on this side. And it got taken. But, we're happy to find you and save you from the gravels before you become something like that that no one can recognize. Looking through all the little pieces here, here's another one. You can see the shape there. And the tip is missing. So probably the base is a little broken and the tip, but otherwise there's a lot of fine detail that you can see in there. There's an edge. Here's its opposite edge. We'll save it. Glad to rescue it even at this point. Just can't say so many of these. So many of these. Really cool shapes anyhow. And here's a piece of this petrified wood, which is pretty darn obvious. When you finally lay your eyes on it, I picked it up expecting it to be light, and it wasn't. So this is just like the petrified forest petrified wood. Right there. Well, here's one, but unfortunately it's just half, and the whole other half is sheared away on down that side but that was its working edge point to point <laughs> it was a cute little leaf shaped arrowhead spear tip just still picking up all the little pieces that i find just got over this <gasps> it's another one that one's kind of crooked i think it was made crooked it's a beautiful little spear tip Again, a little river worn on all the crests of its little conchoidal fractures, but we have recovered another spear tip. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm still carrying the half of the other. There's an example of what it was. Okay. That's a tool right there. That's beautiful. That's unworn. That's a little knife. They took just the shape of it and then made that. Just like you see it. It's got a curve, but it's been sharpened and refined all the way around. Just beautiful. Still sharp and shiny. Look at that. Just took right off the mountain and just worked it into something, just a perfect little knife. Ugh, beautiful. 
there's its natural side and then there's just all the workings. Wow, look at the machinery coming out of this pile. This whole center thing we're on seems to be old farm stuff. I think we saw this in previous years. It's just more eroded out now. Look at this. Damn, the big working wheels of something. Of something. It went in the river long ago, probably when the bank was back there. It was all the way out to here. And they were dumping stuff off the bank, so... We'll look for bottles and stuff too. It seems like this was once the edge. Go down and check this. Backtracking a little bit because... The waterway forked and we had to make a decision, so now we're going back to where it forked. And looking at everything there is to see. Ginormous pieces of obsidian all along the way. Things that should probably get saved, even if they're not totally identifiable. Yep, I'm carrying my little beaver stick as the evening goes on. This will be what makes us look intimidating to the things in the bushes. Hopefully there's still a couple of things in the bushes. We can pray. <laughs> Ginormous spear tip. Just kidding. Right there. That was a big old spear tip, probably older. It lost its fine tip and I'm not sure about the base, how much bigger it would have been. But another fine recovery. For sure. That's a chunk of a big old spear tip. That could be 30,000 years old. We're on the Pacific seaboard. This is where, where some of the entryways started. What are you? Couldn't say. That is really cool. It's got some crazy fracture designs in it. I think it's just from age of the glass even. But you can see that that was a tip for sure. Um, this has got that shape to it. It's been worked all the way around. I believe that would be the base and then that would be the front. It might have even lost its sharpened and then been retooled into that and been lost again. But that is another little tip. Dang. Another shovel. There you go. See what we can see. Kind of going faster and faster as the light drops because to get here I had to take my shoes off a couple of times and stuff like that. And we have to redo that process and scamper along borders and climb through blackberries. And so um, I'm probably missing some stuff, but I am only a couple of miles down what is a ginormous area and uh yeah so the rush is on perfect little disc just can't say though so many of those big natural conchoidals could have been used um, but also when a uh, chunk of obsidian hits another big rock that'll come off and then it's a little edge will sit there and get napped off by bouncing off stones on its way, so really hard to say. There's a tool right there. That's a knife of sorts. It's somebody's something that's been shaped down all the way around from its original thing. It would have had a razor sharp low edge along there. 
It's a knife. It's a definite knife. Beautiful, we're so lucky. Here is a... Uh, just wow. Okay. This has aluminum, yellow pottery. Plastic. Something milk glass. It says registered vanishing cream. It's like maybe the lid or the base. Body. Maybe it's that old though. Tell the water just went down. There's still water in the bottles. Kind of like being the first river right here. Whatever that is. I'm sort of, oh, this came in two now. Lots of little cylinders with cylinders with holes inside that. Don't know. Don't know. Yep, that's a tailgate. I think we saw that in another year when we were coming by here. Now it's all the way out here. Okay. Battery change. The light's sinking a little bit lower. Another piece of molten uh, milk glass. This shows that we were definitely on the edge of an old dump. Four fifths of a quart. Okay. We have reached. Okay, we have reached a point where we cannot go any further downstream. So I'm going to slowly make my way back and uh, keep my eyes out for anything we missed. Ooh, like that right there, that's a piece of chert, red chert, not usually used with all subsidian around, but that little ledge there. You know, there'd be no reason not to use it. Oh, it just feels like a blank of some sort. And then that edge feels like they started working it. If we were on 128 in Navarro, this would be a blank for sure. Don't know. And this. So many of these. You can see how much... There's obsidian everywhere in sight, so um, where we're hunting it today just to look for the tools. Someone looking to make tools would have picked some of these up and worked them a little ways and then gone, nah. So, can't say no way. That might be our second piece. That looks like it was a jar lid. That would have been awesome. This might be a uh, another chunk of uranium glass. <laughs> I think everybody threw this stuff away all at once when somebody said it was bad for you. So, wow, or it was super popular. We'll see. We'll see if this glows. Fluoresces. Two things here. Look at it. Number one, this is some of this rhyolitic tough that would so make you think that it was a piece of petrified wood I mean look at that it looks just like the pieces that we find but you can look on the end and see that it's just the tough and thin layers and it's been swirled around 
it's got like a nice pattern, a nice pattern to it. And uh, that's one of its dead giveaways. But man, I'm tempted to bring it home except for I know there's 10,000 pounds of it here and that's not petrified wood. This though is awesome. What are you? That is a big old agate. You see in the glow in there? That's crazy. See the light coming through it? That's a big old agate. For sure. There's its it's outside. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's really cool. Boom. Agateness. Right along with the petrified wood and everything else. I'm glad we're on our way back. I'm gonna go ahead and carry this with us. We got monster agate out of the day. Um, I'm pretty sure we were here, so I'm seeing something that is not what it is. I was looking at that, and I swear I set that there. And that. No, we would have picked that up and pocketed it, because that's almost a blank, if nothing else. But that's not what I'm tripping on here. Let me zoom in. What the heck? That is definitely a tool. There's the rough edge. That got done. And they didn't finish much more in this whole entire side got done. Look at that. That's for sure. Look at those flutes. Boom, 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 boom. They're just exact. That was going to be a big, huge knife. Um, and stopped for some reason. I'm not sure why or if that was complete, but I mean, that is... That is freaking crazy. Look at that. There's dirt. That's like the river stuff that gets in there. But it kind of sticks under under the edges. We can scrub that a little bit. But that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Just, I'll probably bring pieces like that and give it a closer look too because I'm just saying, come on. But I just picked this up and this is at least roughed out. There's one edge, there would have been the parallel edge, the base the center ridge but it lost its tip it looks like Do you see that? Hopefully I'm showing that good Now this one's debatable because it's so river washed but I swear I see center point there that would have been the tip I think we lost a huge fleck out of that side I think this is our work edge and our belly and like I said, I think we lost lost the whole thing there. So it would have come down all balanced. I see almost looks like a peace symbol working up there. And then just chunk out of that side. Otherwise it would be this beautiful shape. Oh, this is crazy. It's like a milky agate. And it's got all these little patterns to it. It's like blue in there. It's like a blue crystal pocket. Oh, it goes all the way around. I gotta get you a close-up of that for sure. That's crazy. And while I still have a little bit of light, I gotta do a close-up on all this other stuff. So, we have to do that pretty darn quick here. Yeah. Yeah. But that is awesome. Mm -hmm.